love him so when he flips that dough, he's Pizza Boy USA. All the way from Tennessee. Yep. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of a drive. Pennywise back again. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? How's it? How you been? Pretty good. I drove yesterday. I got here, so I drove 12 hours straight. I just came straight here from a 12 hour shift. 12 hour shift, 12 hour drive. Nice. Yeah, man, I tell you, I, I was up How from- How was the drive? 12 uh, hours in this. So, it was good, man. Uh, um, air suspension, it rained the whole time from 10 o'clock until 30 minutes today. out. It rained oh God, the whole time. Tough. The car did well. Uh, I just put uh, these Nitto triple nickel G2s on and it yep. handled the rain really well. A lot's been done. Uh, since last year, you know, right? Yeah. Do green, huh? Do green. Let's see. Look, we'll go green. Let's go green. How are you doing this morning, buddy? There we there go. There we go. <laughs> Every time I see your car, I want to watch that movie. I know, I know, man. Well, don't worry. Next, next year, I'll, I'll be, I'll have it viewing inside and outside the car. There you yeah. go. Yep, that's gonna be. Cool. You know, it'd be cool. The, the I'm, hood, a, I'm gonna get a projector deck, screen, and it's gonna come out the trunk. And it's gonna be a projector screen, and then you're gonna be able to watch the movie with a projector. <laughs> Alright, and so here it is. I was lucky enough to run into the new 2021 Mustang Mach 1. So here's my thoughts on this one. And of course, I'll more than likely be reviewing it when it's all said and done, anyways. But essentially, this is the replacement for the Bullet Mustang. Same 480 horsepower. One of the benefits here in the Mach 1 is that the six speed is a Tremec six speed manual as opposed to the MT82 that of course traditionally has been known to be causing issues. So still has rev matching, but the Tremec, that's the one found in the GT350 as opposed to the MT82 found in the Bullet as well as the regular GT. So love that the Tremec is in the Mach 1. 10 speed automatic is also available. And of course that comes with paddle shifters. Also the Mach 1 though gets the GT350's front and rear subframe. Also gets the GT500's rear axle cooling system also rear tow link and the GT500's rear diffuser as well. Then touching on the exterior a little bit, of course you are gonna find plenty of orange accents on the Mach 1. There is a handling package I wanted to mention that's on the fighter jet gray one that you're looking at right now. Essentially that equates to the performance pack level two on the standard GT if you think about it. You're getting 10 and a half inch wheel tire combination up front, 11 inches in the back. Of course just the wider wheel and tire combinations right there are going to give you better handling right off the bat four and a half inch exhaust outlets. I love that. It is larger than the GT, but not quite as large, of course, as the five inch exhaust outlets on the GT500. But here's my beef, I guess you could say, with the Mach 1. The two circles that I'm sure everybody at this point has noticed found in the front grille. A lot of people may think they are possibly air intakes because that is what the Hellcat does after all. And that would be a very cool idea if you ask me, but they're actually backed by plastic. And so Ford's explanation on this essentially was that they're the spots that you are going to install fog lights for, meaning this new Mach 1 actually does not come with those traditional fog lights you have to purchase them or you could really get any kind of fog lights to be in there. It doesn't have to be those throwback fog lights. It could probably be some super LED rally spec lighting maybe if you wanted to, but still nonetheless, that circular design in the front grille is backed by plastic. You inevitably will have to replace that because I do not like that look up there. So if you go with the Mach 1, it is a very nice car. Just replace that with whatever you feel you would like to replace it with some type of fog light in some form or fashion. So that's all right, so we got a cow hood here. Got the GT500 heat extractor hood over there on the S197. And of course on the S550 as well. The cool thing about these is that they do have a rain tray just like the regular GT500 that can be removed. You know, it's aftermarket. You don't have to get a GT500 in order to get the hood. You can actually put it on any S550 or for that matter, any S197. So that is pretty cool. I like that. I like that they have a removable rain tray as well, which actually makes this thing drivable in the rain. So well thought out, Cervini, once again. And of course you can check them out at Cervinis.com. This is pretty cool, you guys. You get to uh, stand in line to get thrown around in a Raptor. <laughs> that is fun. I've reviewed the Raptor a few times now. It's absolutely amazing. And I always seem to review it in the snow. 
But dang, that car is, or I should say that truck is insanely off-road capable. I always have a blast driving it, so. That is pretty cool that they got that. I like that idea. <laughs> It is definitely nice, but look at this. I guess this is by Stainless Works. I don't know enough about these other exhaust companies, but it's so unique. I love that. It tilts in. I wonder what this thing sounds like.